Hey, good morning. Welcome to my curls, y'all. I'm here with Pollux. He was chilling on my bed until I turned on the camera. He does not like the camera pointed at him. Uh, okay. Anyway, in today's video, I'm going to give you all some updates. Updates on Pollux. This is the Pollux update video. I want to bring you all up to speed on things that I've talked about in previous videos and let you all know what is going on now. Things that Pollux has learned, things that Pollux has not learned. What has changed in Pollux's life? <laughs> Apparently he's super lazy. And I'm going to show you all behind the scenes. I'm going to let you see some things that I edit out of videos and just little snippets of things that go on in our house. Pollux wise that I've never shown you before. So this should be a fun video. So stay with me y'all. It is Pollux Updates. This is why I can never get a good picture with him. He know, look at him turning his head. He knows the camera is on him. He does not like it. And when I try to move toward him, he jumps. Watch this. So today's video is Pollux updates, behind the scenes, what's been going on, what's new in Pollux's life, and we have a lot to share. It just seems like every week something in Pollux's life changes. It's like he hits a new, a new milestone, a new m benchmark, he learns something new. It's been so interesting to watch Pollux's evolution into being a dog. And if you all are new to my channel, we adopted Pollux, it's been, I guess, six months ago, the day after Christmas in 2019. He had spent his entire life in the animal shelter. He had never been out of the shelter. He had never experienced um, anything about being in a home or, or interacting with humans or having a family. He knew none of that. His world has really changed. He has learned so, so much. And you all can see that and see the progression of Pollux in all of my videos. But I want to show you some of the behind the scenes stuff today. Things that I've talked about in other videos and you all comment and ask me, well, what's going on with this? Or did Pollux do this? Well, I'm going to answer those questions for you today. Right, Pollux? What you doing, boo? Can we see your spotty belly? You want to show us your spots? Look at Pollux's spotty belly, y'all. <laughs> you going to show us your spotty spots? Were you taking a big Judy? Oh, my goodness, Jesus. But you are. You guys, but you spotty dog. Look at all the spots underneath there. Sweet, sweet spots. Right, Pollux? The first update I want to give you is about Pollux's bed. You all know we got a calming anxiety bed for Pollux, one of those donut beds. And it is actually on the bed behind me. During the day, I have to stack Maxi and Pollux's bed on my bed so that our robot vacuum can vacuum our bedroom. So that's why they're on my bed right now. Pollux loves his bed. He sleeps in it every night, happy as a clam in his bed, and so does Maxie. But a couple days after we adopted Pollux, I was not able to order his donut bed because they were out of the size we needed for Pollux. So I just ran to Home Goods and I bought an inexpensive little bed and I put it in our dining room, which is his favorite place to hang out. All was well until a couple weeks ago, just one day, Pollux mutilated his bed. He started taking his, this is funny, Randy says he has a needle nose, <laughs> you know, needle nose pliers, those little pincher little pliers. He started taking his little needle nose and ripping holes all in his bed. And after about a week, he had pulled all of the stuffing out of his bed, but he loved it. He would put the stuffing in his bed and lay in it. So happy. Somebody's in trouble. Buddy, why did you do that? You tore up your bed. You tore a big hole in your bed. <laughs> well, it had gotten to the point that the bed was just 
it needed to be thrown away. And so I went and got him a new bed at Home Goods. I just needed an inexpensive bed. He doesn't spend a lot of time in it and it's in our dining room. So I posted a picture and a video on Instagram of the moment that I walked in the house with the bed. I threw it in the kitchen floor, Pollux got in it, rolled around, sniffed it, loved it. Pollux, is it a go? Hmm? You're just gonna lay right here in the kitchen with it? That's a face of a happy boy. You happy boy. And this is the little picture that I posted. And look at his little sweet eyebrows. Y'all, Pollux has the cutest eyebrows. And everybody commented, oh, look how much he loves his bed. Look how cute he is. Well, what you didn't see behind the scenes was the minute I picked that bed up, out of the kitchen and put it in the dining room. I am not kidding. Within five minutes, he started tearing holes in it the same way he did the bed before. And they were the exact same bed, just a different color. So I don't know how to take this. Either Pollux hates the bed and he wants to tear it up or Pollux loves the bed and he tears it up because he loves it torn up because this is what the bed looks like right now. We've had the bed a week and this is what it looks like. So Pollux likes his bed in the dining room in the corner because he can see the whole house. So here's the bed. It's been here one week and look at it. He takes his little needle nose and he rips holes in it all over it. Look at this. But he loves it. And y'all, Pollux puts his toys in his bed. He does this, I don't. If you take the toys out of here, he will go find them and bring them right back to his bed. So he loves to lay in the bed on top of the toys and he pulls out all the stuffing in the bed and fills the bed with it. And then every morning I come in here and I get out the stuffing. So maybe the problem is me. Maybe I need to leave the stuffing in the bed instead of picking it up every morning. I just That just dawned on me when I said that to you. <laughs> maybe I just need to leave the stuffing in the bed and see what happens. But anyway, this is Pollux's new bed in the dining room. It's a week old and it is torn to pieces. But he likes it that way. Something else Pollux has learned to do is to swing his big booty. When he wants Maxie to play, or when he wants my attention, he will use his booty. He loves to swing his booty around. He loves to wave that big white tail, and it makes me so happy to see him do it. So here's just a little snippet of Pollux using his booty. <laughs> See the booty? He using his booty. <laughs> Look at that. Maxie's learned to bite Pollux on the ankles. When Pollux puts his booty on him, Maxie will get him low. <laughs> Go get him, Moo. Oh, oh. Oh, and it's on. Use your booty, Pollux. <laughs> it's all about the booty. Oh, no. The sneezing. Do y'all hear the sneezing? This is also something new. Maxie sneezes when he plays, and Pollux never did that. And he has started, or I guess he's, he has learned the sneezing for Maxie, and he now does it when they play. So y'all know we took Pollux to the groomer and the number one thing we needed done at the groomer was for Pollux to get his toenails trimmed. 
because he needed a toenail trim and the groomer had no luck. She uses like a little Dremel tool and he just wasn't having it. So the next day after the groomer, we took Pollux to the vet and the vet was able to trim his nails. Can I see your nails? Let's look at the nails. Look how much better those nails are. Good to go. Dew claws got trimmed. Oh my gosh. Dew claws are good and trimmed. Nails are good. Or yay to the vet for getting the nails trimmed. Maxie, are you gonna chew his ear off? Isn't that funny how Pollux just lets Maxie play with him and he gets down low on his level because he's so much bigger. What What are you doing? <laughs> he is cord gobbing his ear. <laughs> you two are silly. They all got the sillies. This goes on every day, y'all. No joke, every single day. This plane is just gonna go on, so I'm gonna keep talking. And at the end of the grooming video, I showed you all Pollux laying in my lap and barking at me. <laughs> I bet you all didn't know Pollux barks, but he does. He loves to bark. He will, if Maxi barks, Pollux barks. Pollux doesn't know why he's barking. He just barks because Maxi does it. And he gets super worked up. If Maxi barks at something, Pollux has got to chime in. But Pollux, when he wants my attention or Randy's attention, he will do this low, like, barking sound to get our attention and then if that doesn't work he does a full-on bark at us <laughs> and I'm gonna show you a couple snippets of him barking to get our attention <sighs> are you wanting Kendall to play with you His tail goes as fast as his head does when he was looking for it. Come, come play with me, Kino. Okay, I'll play with you. <laughs> he's not very good at get. Oh, he got it! Oh, now what? Oh, he just wants to play with me. He just wants to play with me. But he is still concerned about the ball. <laughs> Sweet boy. This is my sweet boy. Oh, yeah. You, sweet. you wanted those pets? You didn't want me to stop petting ya? Yeah, I know. I know, you sweet boy. Come <laughs> oh, he just wanted pets. He just wanted pets and kisses. Oh, okay. All that pollock for pets and kisses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 booty rubs. It's all about the booty rubs. Yeah. Shh. Um, <laughs> Go. His tail. What are 
are you doing? <laughs> hey, Pollux. Is it your birthday tomorrow? Is it your birthday, Pollux, tomorrow? Oh. Oh, oh boy. It's your birthday tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Mm-hmm. You get away with things when it's your birthday. Something else interesting about Pollux is he is a super picky eater. He will eat anything crispy. He loves Cheetos, pretzels, chips. He loves his dog treats. He loves his dry food. He does not like squishy or soft foods. <laughs> no, let me show you what he does. If we try to give him anything squishy or soft, he takes it in the living room, he plays with it, but then he won't eat it. He is super, super picky. Y'all wanna try a blueberry? Let's see what you do with a blueberry. There's a blueberry, Pollux. Maxie won't take it either. <laughs> I told you, takes it into the living room. Oh, Max are gonna drop it. Oh, you ate it? Maybe, oh. <laughs> oh, no, you said, Moose said no. Are you just gonna play with Fipolix? He wants to eat it. He's testing it out, but he won't do it. You don't like a blueberry? Do you want a treat, Moo? Oh, did Mama say treat? Do you want a treat? Let me, you know, looking up here in the treat jar? Let me get you one of these. Oh my goodness. Oh, you want one too? Okay, here, one for Moo. And one for Pollux. These are the treats that I love to give the guys. The Paul Newman's own dog biscuits. We get turkey and sweet potato. They have a peanut butter one that's really good. And that's what I actually just gave them. You back for more? Is nobody going to eat the blueberry? Blueberry. The next thing on the update list requires me to come outside. So, you all know I did a video. Sorry, they're building a house behind us. I did a video about trying to get Pollux in the pool. We even had his best friend Nelson come over to go swimming and Pollux would not get in the pool. I got a comment from somebody under the video that said, we'll get Pollux a little baby pool and see if he will get in the baby pool and maybe figure it out on his own. And I thought, that is a fantastic idea. So, Randy went to the dollar store. See this? Found a baby pool. We've had the baby pool out here for three weeks. Pollux, one time, put his front paws in the baby pool. We had about this much water in it. He put his little paws in the baby pool, took a drink, and took off. And since then, he has completely ignored the baby pool, and this is where it sits. When we come out here on the weekends, I get out the pool, I put some water in it in hopes that Pollux will just figure it out. I've gone and sat in the baby pool, tried to get him to come to me. No, no part of it. So, so far, Pollux has not been in the swimming pool. He has not been in the baby pool. That was a fail. And then here's the next thing. Pollux has so many toys and he has started bringing the toys out into the yard. He will take his favorite toys loud bird he will take his favorite toys from the house and bring them out and leave them all over the yard we pick them up we take them back in the house no pollux wants his toys in the yard well we have a lawn crew that comes every tuesday and mows the lawn and this is actually tuesday so this morning before the lawn crew got here i had to go out in the yard and pick up all of pollux's toys this is what all i had to go in the yard and collect this morning the donut this little squeaky thing that he has torn the heck out of. This rope toy, which is his absolute favorite. He loves this in the yard. And then now this little toy. So I had to go in the yard, collect all the toys before they got mowed over this morning. Sir. 
at this. He gonna slide down the hill. What? Sir, what are you doing? You just got back from the groomer. Well, so I'm filming the video and I look over and Maxie is rolling in the grass. So and I thought I'd share that with you. <laughs> We cannot keep a clean dog. You all saw in the video, it hasn't even been five days ago that Maxie and Pollux went to the groomer. They got groomed, they got bathed, they are so fresh, they smell so good, they're all clean, and Maxie's rolling in the grass. Anyway, whatever. So Pollux's favorite toy is this donut, and I have shown this to you all in so many videos. But look, this is called the Indestructible Giant Donut, and I have it linked um, below all of my videos for Pollux because he will tear up any kind of soft toy. He has had this for probably five months now and has never torn it up. Torn it, up. it has been one of the best toys we've ever bought until now. Look at this. I don't know what's going on, but he is starting to nip at and tear up like you saw his bed and now his favorite donut. But this donut finds its way into the yard. So Mr. Pollux is a sneaky little toy taker. He will drag all of those out into the yard and we let him stay there all week. Just let him do it, have a ball. Unless it's gonna rain, then I'll go pick him up. But he loves to lay in the yard and have his toys. He will put this thing in his mouth and you know how he gets the zoomies? He will run around the yard with the zoomies, with his toys in his mouth. He is a funny dude. What are you two doing? Hey, Pollux, I've got your toys, buddy. Look here. Hey, Pollux. <laughs> Look here, mama got your toys. Oh my goodness, there's so many toys. What are you gonna do? <laughs> there they go. So the lawn won't be mowed for another week, so Pollux gonna just take his toys out there and have a ball. You, you take your toys and have a ball. That's what he loves to do, y'all. Lay in the yard with his toys. Oh, Pollux, you got the zoomies? <laughs> And then of course there's the doggy door. We've had the doggy door for several weeks now. Yeah, let me tell you. So if we pin the door up with chip clips, Pollux will go through it, no problem. If I hold the door up for Pollux, he will go through it, no problem. Those are really two huge improvements since the video. He will go through it if he does not have to push the door with his nose. He is actually at the door right now watching me talk about him. So I'm going to show you what happens. Pollux, are you wanting to come outside, buddy, but you won't do it? Okay. Let mama lift the flap and we'll see. Come on. Come on. See? Fine. There he goes. Go. See what I mean? Mm-hmm. Come here. One, two. Mm, Pollux. <laughs> now Pollux wants in the video because Maxer's in the video. Maxie likes to get into video, don't you, Moo? Oh, uh-oh. Oh, here goes the booty again. With the booty. It's always, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the update video. Updates on Pollux. Things he's learned, things he hasn't learned. Things he's, little quirks and habits he's picked up. You can really just see him settling in and becoming so comfortable with us and our family and our home. He is such a happy dog. He's such a joy to be around. And he just learns something new every week, it seems like. We just call it new milestones. It's baby steps. 
He's such a happy guy. He and he and Maxie are so good for each other. Before Pollux came to live with us, Maxie was alone for about a year and a half. We lost our two other dogs within a couple months of each other. We used to have three miniature schnauzers. And so for about a year and a half, Maxie was here by himself but it has turned out to be a really good thing for him. They get along well, they enjoy being together, they love to play, it keeps both of them so active and so healthy. Like They love to go on walks together and they actually lay together sometimes. If there's a storm, they will cuddle up together and they're just good for each other. <laughs> Did you hear the sneezes? They're just really good for each other. They're, they're BFFs, Maxie and Pollux. I'm just gonna let the play session go on because then after that, they take really big naps. Big Judies, that's what we call them in our house. So until next time, I'll see you later.